Hello everybody, uh, today is Sunday and I have a new plan for the channel that I want to share it with you. So on every Sunday I'm going to be showing you some teasers on what I'm going to build and what I'm going to build the tutorials on for the next coming week. All right. So I think this is a good way for, for not only showing you what's going to happen next week but also giving you a glimpse of you know whether the tutorials that I make are worthy enough to actually see it and watch for the next week. So as you can see right now in the picture we have this very cool animation that I have developed using uh, only CSS pretty much and a little bit of a blaring and SVG as well. So I'm going to be talking about this tutorial in the next week uh, so stay tuned if you like the feel and look of this it could be used in like loading or anything right literally if you if you want to create some sort of an animation for your whatever campaign or, or whatever all right so the next one is this pretty cool vertical uh, timeline I, I have been giving two tutorials on this but then I, I was looking around at some different uh, graphics on the internet and really really like this one because it, it has all the components that I really wanted to uh, you know show you the extreme sort of capability of CSS and how to utilize different CSS properties to come up with this kind of look for you know maybe it's like a calendar event or whatever that you know you need to take into the consideration of time, time intervals, and what's not. The other thing that I want to talk about is, you know, this very cool animation. So look here, we have this menu. And when, it, when I scroll down, look at the way this kind of thing stays up there and reveals itself. So you can see it kind of very nicely detaches from, from the header and comes down. It perfectly uses, again, something uh, which is called like the filters in SVG and I'm going to be talking about it when we reach this tutorial right the next tutorial that I want to talk about is you know this very nice slider so you might use it for you know different things maybe whatever progressive uh, you know sections you have on your website or you want to define you know the limit of uh, something you can definitely use this quite cool uh, slider and the last thing that I want to talk about and I will dive into in more detail in the upcoming tutorials uh, as I said before is animation right so some of the animations you can use CSS only but some of them you can't ever use CSS properties like this one so take a look at this you will see the elasticity in the animation right you can see how it looks it comes down and you know a little bit of like a oscillation uh, or oscillator kind of movement uh, if you will so you can see this is pretty cool if, if you want to use this for different things and, and obviously in order to use that again you have to uh, basically use JavaScript rather than CSS uh, and basically this is this is the code to generate this but I'm gonna like shape it in a better f shape and form and come up with a use case that you can really see how cool this animation looks so yeah stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna see you all next week and in upcoming weeks have a good day